Abner the baseball is a pretty interesting idea, though maybe a little bit longer than I would have liked it to have been. This is a Famous Studios cartoon from 1961. It's directed by Seymour Nightle and Jack Errett, written and starring Eddie Lawrence as Abner the baseball. And I actually learned some things because... It actually detailed something that I'd never heard of. Mickey Mantle once hit a baseball 634 feet, which is apparently impressive. I don't know enough about baseball to know how impressive that is, but it's certainly something that was monumental. And this is the story of the, how that happened from the perspective of the baseball. That's a really brilliant concept. It's very, very well done. It's really fascinating. And I really enjoyed it. However, the whole thing is about 15 minutes. And I do think it's way longer than it needed to be. I don't think it needed to be quite that long. So I didn't find it to be fully captivating for the entire duration. But I was interested well enough to enjoy it. But as I said, maybe not the entire thing. I think they could have told the story in no more than 10 minutes. It didn't need to be this long. But if you are particularly interested in Mickey Mantle or this period in baseball history, then I'm sure you'll find it more fascinating throughout than I did. But that being said, it is an interesting concept. The baseball is a very likable character. It's very well animated. The animation itself is pretty decent. And it's definitely not too bad. So watching it as somebody who has a casual interest in baseball, I thought it was pretty fascinating. And I did do some Googling around Mickey Mantle in this particular this particular baseball. And I learned some things. So that's never a bad thing. It might be longer than I would have liked it to have been. But nevertheless, Abner the Baseball is still pretty interesting. Give me a bit of an education. It's well animated. The character of the baseball is very likable. So if it sounds like it would appeal to you, I definitely recommend it. I certainly think Abner the Baseball is very creative and probably worth watching.